Hey guys, uh, it's just me again today. Um, just a little bit of an informational video today, not really a travel vlog per se. Um, but basically I'm going to the dentist. So I've been to the dentist like three times, this is my third appointment. And um, just to get like some fillings and a bit of a teeth clean and stuff like that. And it's a lot um, cheaper to do it here in Thailand than what it is in Australia. So I'm gonna go to my appointment and then after my appointment, I will run through all the costs and everything totals for anybody who is coming to Thailand to live for a little while and might want to know this kind of information about um, just some basic health care. The dentist that I've been going to is um, in walking distance so he's about a 20 minute walk from where we live um, and pretty much everywhere in Thailand there's a dentist on every corner so um, yeah, it's really good and the care that they've given me has been pretty awesome. Like, I am somebody who is deathly afraid of the dentist. Like, I absolutely hate them. Um, I hadn't been to the dentist probably in, like, four years. A um, couple of bad experiences when I was younger and, um, yeah, just kind of avoided going to the dentist at all costs. But after my first appointment with this dentist, I was pretty impressed they're really gentle um, really lovely and did not have any issues at all no pain nothing along those lines so I decided just to bite the bullet and get everything done that I needed to do just to kind of get it over and done with so I don't have to worry about going back to the dentist again for a little while um, my teeth are straight but I definitely have teeth I get holes in them easily, even though I barely eat any sugar. I clean my teeth twice a day. Um, my teeth are just kind of sh the lock of the drawer. Also, just want to mention that um, when I was picking a dentist, I had a look through a bunch of reviews, um, and this one had some really good reviews. Um, and I can definitely see why they've had good reviews. Um, but definitely do your research before you commit to going to a dentist here because um, I'm 100% sure that there's probably some dodgy ones as well. Just got a little bit further to walk, so just straight down there across the road and then we are there. Oh my god, in case you guys didn't know, Thailand is hot at the moment. I had a shower before I came down to the dentist and now I feel like I need another one. Alrighty guys, so this is where we're going. So, that's done. As you can probably see and hear, half of my mouth is completely numb. So, once the um the numbing wears off a little bit i'm gonna finish off this video i'll be back in a sec i am just gonna hit 7-eleven and grab something that i can maybe try and eat with this <laughs> before i go home because it's um yeah past lunchtime and i'm hungry
Honestly guys, no shade to anyone who um, gets lip filler or Botox. Like, do what you gotta do. Make yourself feel confident. If that's something that you wanna do, by all means, do it. But this is what I imagine it feels like as someone who's never had anything done. <laughs> it just feels so weird. I'll never get used to having a numb mouth. Alrighty guys, so my face is feeling pretty much normal again now. Um, it's just like still a little bit, a little bit numb, but um, I have all the feeling back in my tongue. So um, I just thought I'd jump on and finish the video off while it's still light outside. Um, so I just wrote down a couple of notes about the dentist. So the first one is I got a price list. Um, so I will attach the picture to the video and put it on the, on the screen somewhere up here so you guys can just pause it and if you're interested to see like a full breakdown of what different things cost at the dentist um, or the dentist that I went to you can see it there. So with the dentist even though the one that I was seeing here in Thailand is really really good obviously it's still not my favorite thing to do like just going to the dentist and um, getting the drills and the needles and um, yeah all of that stuff is just really not fun um, but they did make it as pleasant as possible for me which is really really good um, so I definitely would recommend getting dental work done in Thailand if that's something that you need to do or that something that you're interested in doing. I had three appointments over the course of about a month um, and I've got my receipt and like a breakdown of everything that I had done at the dentist on this piece of paper. Um, so I got four fillings. Um, the fillings were quite deep fillings, um, so they were a little bit more expensive. Um, all four of them were, were quite deep. Um, so that was, it was 1,600 for the first filling and then the next three fillings were 5,400 bar. Um, and then I also got a polishing and a scaling so um, just like a dental clean and that was 1100 baht so a total of 8100 baht um, which I'll put the breakdown in like Aussie dollars American dollars great British, great British pounds um, up on the screen for you as well but um, basically that is so much cheaper than what it would have been if I had gotten all these fillings um, and work done in Australia. Um, yeah, dentists in Australia is hectically expensive and they don't bulk bill um, or anything like that. So it's, yeah, really worthwhile doing it over here if you're here long term. The dentist was also really good and he explained to me about my teeth and why they're so shoddy. Um, so I look after my teeth, like I clean them twice a day, I floss them. Um, just I generally have good dental hygiene um, the issue with my teeth is that they have deep grooves um, so food and like particles and stuff can get stuck in the grooves um, and it's they're difficult to clean basically um, so he explained all of that to me and he just sort of said you know you, you should probably get checkups more regularly um, and just get those more superficial fillings as they kind of come in um, which is something that I'm going to start doing because I kind of have gotten over my fear of the dentist a little bit and it's just like I just need to stop being a big baby and um, just doing these things. Um, yeah it was really good that he explained all of that to me um, and he said it doesn't really matter how much I brush my teeth or look after them um, I can prevent some fillings but for me it's just like it's just inevitable like they're going to happen anyway. Another thing to add on to that is that one of the fillings was so deep that it might need a root canal in future which um, is really not something that I am looking forward to but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Just finally I'm, I'm glad that I did it like the dentist for me is just really not fun as I've said and I'm really glad that I did it and that he was really gentle and really nice about everything and um, yeah just uh, yeah happy days no complaints. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed just hearing a little bit about my experience with the dentist in Thailand. I know it's not really a travel vlog, it's not what we normally do, um, but yeah, it's good information to have out there. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, please like the video. And if you like us, 
please subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!